We got redeploy balloons coming and a new DMZ boss. A ton of new information just dropped from Call of Duty for the Warzone 2's Season 2 update that's coming February 15th. I wanted to run through it as I've been doing for all of the big updates with all the new information that we got. Obviously, this is the Japanese-themed map, Ashok Island. I did a full overview with a lot of the different hotspots on there, but we did get confirmation it's roughly 30% larger than the previous maps, Rebirth and Fortune's Keep, which we saw back on Season 1. A lot of cool new screenshots as well. Something I noticed was that they are including solos on this, so we'll see if this is also resurgent solos, but uh, they included that much later on down the line when we first saw these close quarters maps coming out. And they also said, uh, you know, just in case you don't know, they gave an overview of Rebirth and what that was. If you still have a squad made alive your team can continue to come back. So you just have to have, even that one bot on your team can stay alive, sit in that building. You know I'm talking about you, okay? You stay alive and your team will just keep on coming back and they can carry you away through to the win. Of course, that player can also do things to decrease the cooldown, like kill players, loot boxes, etc. similar to the uh, respawn contract, the high value target in regular Almaz right now. We also, of course, are going to be having solo gulags, 1v1. Uh, they also said every operator is going to be dropping a dog tag. So when you go to that gulag, if you come back and land on your dog tag, you'll actually get a cash bonus for that, as well as a single UAV ping that will reveal enemy locations and nearby supply boxes like the UAV recon that we saw in the previous game as well. Now, it does say it's only available for your team or yourself, so I don't think this is going to be something where you kill somebody and then go take their dog tag and you get cash from it. It's just for you and your team to help with your regain, which I think is kind of cool. Something that used to be in the game, we'll see if it ends up coming through. They didn't mention it here, from what I saw, was when you killed somebody and thirsted them out, you would see a UAV ping for all enemies in the area as well, right? Uh, of all of the enemies on their specific team. They didn't mention anything about that here that I saw, so we'll see if that returns as well if it's more going to be more defensive to help people reset rather than to help snowball uh, how some players do and just go crazy and pop off these crazy kill games. Uh, the other thing they mentioned was search and seizure. So this is going to be a new contract for resurgence, uh, similar to, you know, like your bounty contract, whatever. But this is going to be a little bit more AI focused. I think this is going to be a replacement for strongholds even. But basically, you pick this up, it's going to tell you to go reclaim a vehicle. You got to kill AI that are defending the vehicle, take a key from it. That key lets you drive the vehicle. Then you have to drive the vehicle, defending it while something's chasing you. More shadow company AI is going to come in, try and kill you. And you got to go take it to an extract location uh, with heavy resistance on route is what they mentioned there. So hopefully you get some pretty huge rewards for it because that seems extremely hard, especially with you know other players that you're also trying to fight. But that's not all when it comes to AI and the game. In second zone, this actually probably is even the better stronghold type replacement, really. They're going to have three uplink stations that are going to spawn. You can go to one of them. You have to stand by it, kind of like a recon mission. That will allow you to secure it. It gives you a little bit of cash. It gives you a little bit of a reward, XP, etc. But the real secret is if you get two or three of them, uh, it will actually then give you an advanced UAV and a random kill streak for the two and then three, obviously, the advanced. So even bigger rewards if you can capture multiple of them. Other enemies coming into the area will stop the progress. They can even DDoS, which maybe that'll actually give us a reason to run DDoS. I don't know how effective that's really going to be. The range is pretty short, etc. But could be pretty good and will be kind of your second zone. Potential come up, get some cash, get your uh, kill streaks, etc. And an alternative to doing other things on it. They also mentioned some additional new features here. But of course, the big one is this redeploy balloon, which is now a redeploy drone uh, that works a little bit differently than we saw previously. So these are going to relocate to the safe area, not all of them, but some of them as the zone is closing, the actual redeploy will also move into the zone because obviously it's a, you know, it's a drone, so these can move. Uh, as well as you can lock onto them. If you find a joker, you find a launcher, lock on, shoot these down, uh, you can't buy them back, but they will respawn after a period of time. So they will come back. But by the end game, most of them, if not all of them, will be gone. Maybe it depends where the zone's going to end exactly. We will have to wait and see. And also, speaking of AI, uh, with the new map, we have a new one coming to the game called the Rusher, who you can see has a melee. He has a mini smoke nade, and he has a pistol. So if you do get him out of range where he can't melee you, he will pull his pistol out and try and shoot you. But he is very weak. 
So you should be able to knock him out pretty quickly. Uh, a little sketchy, though, because some of the melee, especially if you try and melee the AI, it takes like eight hits, and they kill you in two. So it's not really advisable most of the time unless you all gang up on him and try and like stun lock the jug or something like that. It seems a little bit uh, sketchy, but they're also going to have other secrets on the map, which we saw like on Rebirth. They had a Easter egg with like doing a jail cell. You can open up vaults. There was a whole bunch of different Easter eggs on the map. It looks like that is going to return with this. We even saw that back on Verdance. We had red key cards. We had a phone thing to do. We had all these different secrets. We didn't have that though into the other games. So uh, that is the big update coming for Battle Royale. There is a little bit of notes for DMZ, although we've read pretty much everything for it as well um, already. So it's nothing too crazy, but the biggest thing is they are adding a new boss to the game. This is going to be the bomb maker, and we don't know where he is. So, you know, the chemist, we knew exactly where he was. The juggernaut, we knew exactly where he was. This might require you to do some intel missions to figure out where he is. Maybe he has a specific spot. Maybe it's just in the cave. You know, I, I we'll have to see. And then they're also updating the Afghan map back in Modern Warfare 2. This plane, they're adding this over by caves on Al Masra. We can assume this is going to be there for Battle Royale as well, but they do mention it for DMZ here more specifically. A lot of changes, though. They're resetting all the missions. You'll keep all your insured slots. I actually just got my third insured slot right before recording this. So uh, very happy about that. And if you guys are excited for the new season, hope to see you in there. I already got my nuke and third tier insured slot, so I've done everything. I can't talk, but I've I've beat the game. So <laughs> make sure you're subscribed. Give it a like. I'll see you in the next one. Stumbound64, over and out.